So today on Backyard Mechanics, I'm gonna show you how to replace a tire with just some basic tools in your garage. All right, so the much more difficult part of this is that we have to remove the tire from the rim, obviously. First part about that is getting this bead away. So the wheel is essentially has a bead, which is a, a little bit more of an impression, a little bit bigger distance around this edge, which the lip of the tire pops off around so when you're actually trying to get a tire off the rim you've got to get it off this little bead area first which is really difficult so you're going to need some help um, you can try and jump on it and that but it really needs almost mechanical force to lift it off so what we're going to do is actually use exactly that mechanical force and we're going to use a jack so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place the jack right up against here so just right where the lip of the tire meets the rim. And I'm gonna just use a really cheap basic ratchet strap to hold the rim and tire combo to the actual jack. So we'll be using the force of the jack, essentially pumping up against it to lift that tire off the bead. I'm just gonna attach this to the back here. Spit out the way, it's pretty easy. Now, I'm not going for moving homes, tying your car to your car trailer sort of room, but it's pretty much as simple as jerking this up. So you might need a couple of cracks at it. So we'll just uh, unloosen all this. We'll just see how we how we, went, how we effectively went there. What you'll see here it is it has definitely popped off the bead there, but nowhere else. So this is where you can start to jump around. Um, this is a lot easier to do uh, with radial tires rather than the slicks because the slicks have really soft sidewalls. What I might just do also, spray some lubricant in there. See if we can't see if that helps to just push it off that bead. Bit of mechanical force, never hurt anyone as well. You can see that's coming away, but, and there we go, bang. So, that's it, that's one bead. Uh, essentially popped off the rim which is great that's it so what we now need to do is um, before we take it all the way off we need to do the same thing for here so even though the beads broken on that side it's not broken on this side yet and you can see even if I jump on it, it still doesn't want to come off so we're going to do the same thing to this side now which will just be an exact carbon copy of what we just did turn the whole rim over and yep it's definitely off the bead so we are good to go okay so phase two requires us to pull this lip back over here and then we'll have to do it again for the second lip there so this is going to require uh some mechanical help strongly recommend that um if you've got good um alloy wheels or racing wheels or expensive wheels go to a tire place and get them to do it because um, you will I guarantee if you do this yourself you will probably put a few scratches on your wheels so if you care about your wheels just go and get a tire place to do it. it's actually really cheap um, the only reason I'm actually doing this is because I want to test fit this bigger slick on this wheel um, and once I know that it, that it fits right, I will actually go to a tire place for them to do it properly, to put the new ones on there properly. So these are just test fitting ones, so I don't, I don't care. And the first thing we need to do is just lubricate this area. So we want to go in here and over, just like that. What we'll do is we'll go in here. And over. And we just need to keep on doing that over and over again. Get it 
getting over. And it'll get to a point where, boom, just like that, comes out very easily. All right, when we get to the rear, it's a similar thing. So you'll get to a point where the rim just finally comes out. All right, time for the second fun part. And that is remounting this. So again, now lubricate those lips and edges. First one over. Now we've got to get over the second one again, but it's just the reverse, basically, the other process. So we'll keep on trucking. Pokey, dokey. So that is it. That is one tyre back on. But as you can see now, it's not on the bead. So again, another tedious process that needs to be done. But um, if you put air in it now, clearly it's just going to leak out. So the easiest thing to do is get your hands dirty and just essentially pull this wheel, this tyre I mean, up to the bead of the rim. Now, if you've got a radial tyre, um, like a road going tyre, one of the tips is you can put um, a, a strap like what we used on the jack around here and it will squeeze in the middle of the tyre and push the bead out but because this is a slick tyre, a racing tyre, it has really no sidewall, really um, thin sidewall construction so we just have to do it manually. And it's now sealed on that bead so what we're going to do now is exactly the same to the other side. Now what I like to do for this other side is actually to, because you've got one side seated, seated uh, it's just to double stack these. Pretty much. Stamping on like this. You might only be able to get three quarters of the speed in, but it will be enough to seal up, uh, especially if you get it seated right where the valve is. And you can start putting some air in it. You might find it just pops the rim out. So get some air into this one now even. You can see it's filling up now. You can see it start getting around. Now what you want to also be careful about is over inflating. So this tire here says do not exceed 35 psi. I definitely recommend wearing safety glasses when you're doing this as well. At the moment we only get 7 psi on it. You will hear loud pops when it seeds on the seats on the uh, bead as well, so don't be alarmed. Just the tire, that air pressure just pushing the sidewall out onto the tire. And there it goes, bang. No matter how many times that happens, it always gives me a heart attack. There we go, 25 psi. Seated there, all the way around. Rock solid. We're on the ground here. And there we go, so that's it. Also the back side, fully seated as well. All right, so that's it, it's very simple. Uh, you can do it as long as you've got a jack, ratchet strap, and uh, either a tire, uh, the tire removal lines, or if you're in a real pinch, you can see use some pry bars, but uh, as I mentioned many times throughout this video, I don't recommend doing this. Um, wheel and tire places do this work all day, every day, really cheaply, really quickly, um, and they won't damage your wheel whatsoever, so, um, you know, the only reason I, I did this is because it's actually a weekend, it's a long weekend, so uh, nothing's open, uh, I, it's night time. I wanted to get these on so I can check the clearance on my race car, um, but if, yeah, if, if you're doing this yourself because you've got a, you're in a real emergency where you've got a flat tire and a trailer or something, um, no worries, um, you know, go for it. You should be able to get yourself out of trouble temporarily, but... Um, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing it, so take it to a professional, get it done, uh, but yeah, if you are looking good, hope you learned something, and until next time, I'll see you later.
And like always, support the people who support us.